I'm a physicist, so I'm trying to understand nature. Gérard Marou, French physicist and practically a living legend. When you do swimming, you know, you are really blending with nature. You know, it's like, like uh, you know, this beautiful, stunning sea that we see now. And when you are swimming, you are part of this beautiful scenery. He's considered a pioneer in the field of ultra-short laser pulses. When I was a child, I was reading stories about Edison and things like this. But I never thought that it could happen to me. Gérard Marou never lost his passion for physical phenomena. He still initiates pioneering projects today, following laser centers in the U.S. and Japan, now a project of extremes. A part of the European extreme light infrastructure is being developed in Bucharest. Two others are being realized in Hungary and the Czech Republic. It is the largest research project on photon radiation worldwide. The world's most powerful laser will be generating pulses here as of 2018. So big. Among other things, the mega project is to contribute to cancer therapy and study means of remotely identifying radioactive substances. It is also hoped that it will offer insights into the origins of the elements of the universe. Well, I'm overwhelmed. I really, I'm speechless. I would have never thought that one day I could see that. With the invention of chirped pulse amplification in collaboration with his student, Donna Strickland, Maru is regarded as the father of electromagnetic fields of high and ultra-high intensity extending all the way into the petawatt range. This technology allows the amplification of short laser pulses to extremely high peak power. What we are trying to do is trying to understand really the basic and fundamental interaction of light with matters. The matter can be solid, but also the matter can be vacuum. And the power is so large that when we focus this power over a very, very small spot of the order of a micrometers, we could materialize light. Soon, a high-performance laser and a particle accelerator will be available here for experiments in nuclear physics. The meter-thick walls and doors in the gigantic halls are to provide protection from the radiation. We have to use doors just to give you a sense, okay? Doors that thick, these doors, of course, are uh, meters in thickness. It's, you know, they are weighing 10 tons or more, maybe more, I don't know exactly. And I'm living on the 10th floor of a building. With CPA, Gérard Marou pioneered the field of femtosecond ophthalmology, with more than one million patients a year today, and revolutionized the field of high-intensity lasers. The pulse is, you know, before amplifications, is very short, okay? To amplify it, we stretch it. And then we have to compress it. And you can only, only do that in, in vacuum. And that's ta that happened in this chamber. Gérard Marou is an authority in his field and a globetrotter. He studied at the universities of Grenoble and Paris and spent more than 20 years in the U.S. Always at his side, his wife Marcel and his children. <laughs> Family is very, very important for me, obviously. You know, we have been married with Marcel for 50 years. Even so, he never completely stops working. That position is all the time. <laughs> that is typically Gérard. Yeah, I think sometimes he can get a little bit uh, focused, you know, or sometimes when he's riding his bike, maybe he's thinking about a concept and then maybe he's not paying attention that uh, he's, on the, he's, on, he's in the middle of the street, right? <laughs> sometimes, depends on, like, swimming, he's like, really crazy about it. Yeah, I'm proud of, proud of my dad, absolutely. Uh, you know, the thing is he's, he's inspiring because I see him work every day. Gérard Marou still has a lot he wants to do and understand. So my wish for the future is really trying to understand why light propagates in vacuum. And also, I would like really to be able really to produce uh, protons 
to cure uh, cancer by proton therapy, which is, we think, is the best way to do it. This thing is really achievable, and this is what I'm going to spend the rest of my life trying to reach them.